What's up guys, welcome back to another upload. So today I'm just gonna do whatever. Okay, Moab, Moab Pit, Random Trio, pretty good. So yeah, I was gonna say I'm gonna do whatever's there. And this is pretty good, it's gonna make for some hopefully intense videos because Random Trio, obviously you don't pick your towers. Uh, so you use towers you're not used to. And that results in better games than normal, let's say. Right, so this guy doesn't look great. Um, well, he's got more losses than wins, so yeah, he's not very good at all. Sorry if that guy's watching my video. I'll probably not say his stuff like that again, just in case they do watch my video. So, we'll start with an engine, and no, we're not. We'll start with a Cobra. Get that money in. We'll probably buy mm, five, and then start spamming engineers. Obviously, we won't be able to defend around 13 rush, so I'll probably rush him around earlier, yeah, with offensive push. So he, he'll, you know, he'll get caught off guard. Um, I would use the balloon trap, but if it spawns in the wrong place, it cannot, it doesn't defend the rush, which sucks a lot. Um, so that's why I tend not to go with engineer strategies. Going on this map with the engineer reminds me of a game I played ages ago with a guy called um, CS um, dot dot Bastet. Uh, he was a guy in the first clan I was ever in. Um, back when I was in Crazy Squirrels. It used to be like t one of the top 10 clans, but now I think it's like, it's not even a top 100 anymore, but it used to be a good clan, and I used to be in it. It was the first proper clan I was in. And I basically, I was grinding, I was doing the grind week with them, and it was on this map, and the guy um, gave me the win um, the first time, but then we rematched him. I rematched him just because I wanted to play him properly, um, because I haven't played him before, and he went with Engineer on this map, and he got tons of money from Bloom Traps, and it was kind of, I was just getting better at the game then, I wasn't great, but I was getting better, so yeah, it kind of reminded me of that, going off on a tangent a bit, but yeah, I think that's interesting, god, when I used to grind, I haven't, I haven't played the game, like, a lot, for a couple of months, uh, I, though I did do a kind of chest 10 push, uh, with Rising Legends, but I didn't really put much work in. Well, I didn't put as much as I should have, you know, work in. Oh well. So we're just going to send him some greens, just put some pressure on him, because this engineer is definitely not going to be able to handle a constant stream of greens, and it's also given me a lot of eco. And so hopefully, yeah, okay, he's putting his spikes down, but hopefully we get him to... Uh, upgrade his engineer and possibly un buy another one so he can't concentrate on his cobra building because the more cobras he buys the more money he's going to get and we want him to get a, a little um, money as possible so he could rush us with some yellows next round so we just need to be careful of that we'll get another engineer here nine inch nails so it does some more damage and I think going with the nine inch nails instead of the sentry gun is better um, in the short run, because if he sent me a rush straight away, then the sentry's uh, guns would take a while to spawn. So we're just going to send a beefy yellow rush, just to see what he does. He'll probably defend it, to be honest. I mean, he's got decent towers, he'll, he'll be able to defend this. I'm just going to see if we can overwhelm him. No, we cannot overwhelm him. We did, it was a good rush though, it got us lots of eco, but now... We have literally, oh no, that did actually do a lot of damage. Right, so we have like no money now. We have no money. No money at all. So these leads hopefully will walk past his defense. And then I'll, I'll just um, send some of that. This is kind of like a, a last ditch attempt to kill him. Okay, he's going to die. He doesn't even know how to pop the lead balloons. So that was kind of stupid, wasn't it? I was really worried I'd die there because I had no defense up because I spent, well, I have 664, 664 eco at that point, which is pretty insane. Right, so let's play another game. Oh, that was quick. Wow, this guy's played a hell of a lot of games, but he's lost a lot too. So I'm assuming he's never reset his record. Let's see. Oh, he's got the black diamond. Nice. Okay. His prestige isn't great though. Inkblot's a good... Okay, he's going to skip it. That's kind of annoying. Oh well. Oh, that's too good. I want it to actually be intense. Intense games. Okay, this is a good map. 
and that loadout's pretty sweet. So we'll be able to go um, pretty late game, well not late game, but above round 20 with this loadout. We'll probably dive to BFBs to be honest, but let's, let's, let's see what happens. Um, and of course we've both got the same uh, loadout, so I do know his towers, which is kind of helpful. So we'll just farm a bit. We'll probably get the boomerang up first, not uh, the wizard. Where shall I put it? Where shall I put it? Let's put it there. I think that's a decent spot. I haven't been concentrating. Right, so. His boomer spot looks... Hmm. I think my boomer spot's better, to be honest. Because it, it kind of... You can see it goes back. His boomer spot... Well, you can see he's missing tons of balloons that are hitting the spikes. So yeah, I think I think my, my boomer spot's a bit better. If I do say... But yeah, I think my boom spot pretty good. So we oh actually it does actually loop around quite a lot there. Of course it's going for the natural balloons first, so it doesn't work always. But that actually does look pretty decent. Hmm. I can get the bionic boom if he sends uh sends pinks. No, I can't because I just spent my money. <laughs> right, so set that to last. That will clear up all the pinks. He's got it as well at the same time. So pretty, we're exactly even at this point. I should probably get that as well. Just to the glaive shooter actually um, throws him a bit faster, which is nice. It so it increases the popping power, plus it increases um, speed as well, which is very helpful. Don't know why he's still sending pinks. Bit of a waste. I can't fit this farm. And he's got more eco than uh, no. Actually, we're probably about equal in eco. Equal eco, probably. Some blacks could do some damage, I think. Definitely some blacks. Let's just see if he sends us, uh, them to us. We could road spike them uh, if they really like sneak past our defense. Don't think they will, though. See, so the blacks aren't doing much damage to him at all. I thought they'd do a lot more, but his boomerang spot is solid. Maybe I should have done that, maybe not, I don't know. Perhaps I should have gone with that spot. But to be fair, I can't even do it on this map. I could have put it there. But I think I went with the right spot. Well, I'm talking too much about boomer spots. But I think it is important to get the best boomer spot for your um, boomerang. Just to optimise its popping power. Because it could get like 13 pops a shot. Or it could, uh, it could get 2 technically. So it's really important that you get the best spot for it. And the best spot is normally where it loops around and hits the track there. That's the best spot. It's round 8 already. Wow. Nice. So, he could send us some regen whites, regen blacks, uh, like a mix. I don't think he will though, I think he's concentrating on farming. In which I'm a bit behind actually, I'm, I'm a bit behind in uh, farms. So we're just going to send in a couple of regrow whites, just to see if we can sneak some past him. It does look like we're sneaking some past him. Just a few. That's interesting. So yeah, he's definitely farming better than us, Cry. But, yeah. He's got... Well, actually, technically, we're getting more bananas per round than him now. Which is interesting, I guess. Come on. Place down. Nice. So, should we get the... The question is, should we get the glaive? No. We can't get the glaive roll because our, our spot on our map is terrible. Why couldn't I get the good spot? God damn it. So, we're going to send some of those. We're going to get our wizard now. So he's got, yeah, he's got monkey sense on his wizard. We'll easily uh, be able to defend it all out rush because we've got um, the boomerang, which is going to come in a lot of use. So let's just send some of those just to see if he can get his camo detection up in time. Oh, okay, he did get it up in time, but that was kind of close. We'll also put a boomerang there. So we're farming well. We've made him use a boost actually, which is very good for us. Made him use a boost. He's getting more farms up. I'm not going to get more farms up because I don't want to be risky at all. I want to make sure I have a solid defense. I really don't want to die to an embarrassing rush this time. This time? Did I, did I die to one before? I don't think I did. But I always do do that kind of sort of thing. 
So he's got four wizards in the corner. Not sure how many are upgraded to camo detection. Uh, probably three because uh, they got that hat on. But I'm not completely sure. So at this point, we're just going to save up for the Republic. See, he's like 500 ahead of us. Hmm, I don't know where that came from. I think it's because I rushed him. Oh yeah, because I, I rushed him with the camo zebras, right. Okay, I get it. I don't even know why I'm saying zebras when I'm British. I should be saying zebras. I don't even know. That's the problem with watching Super John Bombo. Like, you can start saying, like, mobile instead of mobile. It should be mobile. It should be mobile. But I'm saying mobile. And I'm saying zebra. It's not right. It's not right. Two, four, six, eight. Okay. We can go for that. We can go for that. Right. Let's see if he sends me what I really hope he won't send us. I could always sell one of those if I have to. Or actually get a dragon's breath. Right. And then we can summon Whirlwind. And then it will get it back. And we will survive that. Nice. Right, okay. Cool. So we defended that pretty easily. And we have got our factory up. Which means we have a huge advantage over him. Like a huge one. Because that's giving us a lot more money than it's giving him. Uh, his uh, farm, sorry. So, I was actually pretty risky going for that. He's gone for it on round 19. Which is interesting. Because I'm going to send a BFB. So I don't think he's going to be able to defend it. Especially if he gets um, valuable bananas. So let's send... Oh, is he going to send an all-out rush? I, I'm, I'm interested. Is he going to send one? He sold his plantation. Not sure what that means, though. I think it's because he's sending a BFB. Yeah. <laughs> it's because he's sending a BFB. Right, at least I know it's coming because he boosted no i can't oh there it is right okay so we need to get uh prepared for this so we're gonna i guess we're gonna have to sell this um and then we're gonna get that on that should we try and defend this should we try and defend this i think we're gonna try and defend this come on we can defend it yes Yes, we can defend it. We can defend it! Right, okay. That sounded stupid. Right, okay, so he's sending fast cooldown BFBs. Uh, I'm gonna defend those, hopefully. Um, okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on. Defend! Yes! Right, okay. Right. Come on! Yes! Oh, are you kidding me? He's dead. He's doomed. I'm sorry. He is doomed. He is dead. That was a pretty intense game with the, um, the boomerang micro. Nice. I enjoyed that game. So he's dead uh, because he sent too many rushes at me. He should have saved his money. Oh well. That was a pretty good game. He also shouldn't have sent two BFBs because I knew I wouldn't be able to defend it. So, um... Basically, I knew I wouldn't be able to defend it. Oh wow, I just uploaded my video and I'm getting tons of notifications. <laughs> oh, I didn't realise. Okay, cool. So we'll probably do one one or two more games. Be fun. This guy is, this guy is alright. No, he's not. <laughs> he's okay. I'm just going to do spam the crying emoji. So, we've got decent towers. So I'm just going to go for this. Because the glue gunner will be so useful against regen rainbow rushes, you won't believe it. It'll be so useful. So let's spam a couple of. We shouldn't have done that. Camo leads. I'm gonna hit myself in the head. That was dumb. <laughs> so we're actually gonna go for the helicopter, the heli pilot, whatever you want to call it. I don't care. And we're gonna lock it in place. Mm, there. Yes. Right, so that means, well, we have, when we get quad darts, we'll have a much better defense than him, and we can focus on eco more. Of course, I'll probably sell the heli pilot, because it's absolutely terrible <laughs> against everything else, but against these early rounds, it's going to be very useful. Nice. Nice. He's already getting overwhelmed already. I think he bought Seeking Shuriken. <laughs> he bought Seeking Shuriken. I think he, yeah, he should have saved money. Oh, well. 
send some blues. Blues won't overwhelm him, overwhelm him, sorry. But when it gets to greens, oh, actually they are overwhelming him slightly, gradually, very slowly. Once it gets to greens, he's going to be completely overwhelmed. And as you can see, I'm defending it pretty fine with my heli pilot right now. Which is actually, I think it's slightly more expensive than the ninja, though I'm not quite sure. But it is definitely defending better, as you can see. Nice. So, he's going to have to buy another ninja. Actually, I think he's saving up for a heli pilot. He's going to copy me, isn't he? No, he's going to get another ninja. So, when it gets to greens, I'm actually going to boost them out. Just to put that extra pressure on. Because honestly, he's not going to defend these. I say that, but he's defending them. So, I thought, I thought the greens would overwhelm him. Doesn't seem like they are. Oh well. I probably need to get a ninja up now. Otherwise, I won't be able to defend yellows. I was kind of hoping to uh, bait an energy there so I could go all out yellows. It doesn't seem like that's happening. Sadly. We'll just get this to double shot. I am not going to bother with seeking shurikens. Let's see if he spams some yellows at me. I'm actually going to get sheep seeking shurikens now. See if he spams some yellows at me. He is... I'm pretty sure we'll be fine. It doesn't seem like a big rush because he has no money. So yeah, but we'll be perfectly fine with that. I actually kind of like the heli pilot now. I don't know why. It's just a good tower. I mean, it's solid. I don't know why I'm saying this. It, it is solid. It's it's not something I'd use, personally. I would, I would never bring it to a game because it's terrible at stuff like that. But, I mean, it, it's alright. It's a good tower, I guess. It's better than stuff like the glue gunner and the sniper, for, um, for example. Yeah, so we stuck those. Well done. You put some glue on it. <laughs> yeah, we know. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we need to get... What do we need to get? We need to get a glue... No, we don't. We need to get a, uh, the dissolver thing. So I'll actually sell this. If he sends an all-out rush, I will get the dissolver. Doesn't look like he is. Hmm. Okay then. That's not gonna do anything. That's not gonna do. Oh, camel heads. Oh, oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, I don't even need to. No, I don't even need to boost that. <laughs> okay. And these camel heads I sent are gonna walk right past his defense. And then I'm gonna send out. Okay, he boosted. So I'm not gonna send anything. He's probably running out of money very quickly now. And we're going to send some regen leads. And then a ceramic. Because those regen leads are going to multiply like crazy. And he's doomed. <laughs> he is doomed. Right. So, that's three games. I'm going to play one more game, actually. I quite like Random Trio. It's fun. Have we won all our games so far? I can't remember. Perhaps. Perhaps not. <clears throat> but we've won a good deal of them, anyway. I can't read that because my recording thing's in the in the way. What, what's his name? Reb. He's a very decent player. Hmm. Should we? No, we're gonna we're gonna skip that one. Don't like it. A game. Good towers. Let's go. Okay. <clears throat> okay, we're just going to go with that then. So, engine is solid. And we'll set it to last and then get uh, 9 inch nails. And that will deal with all the eco he sends. Funnily enough, we don't have any camo pink detection really. So, I'm probably going to spam some camo pinks. Probably the best way to kill him, to be honest. Don't know why he went with the sentry gun, that was a bit dumb. He could have saved his money and literally just gone for the 9 inch nails, because they will do more damage. But, against um, pink balloons and such, against pink balloons, I would say the sentry gun's better. Because it can like target the balloon. Well, the sentry guns target the balloon in front. Oops. Target the balloon in front. And then the engineer as well can hit it, so... 
that didn't even make sense did it but yeah that's my explanation on how sentry guns are better at popping group balloons right so this is this is very interesting isn't it Ugh. I've actually kind of got back into BTD battles. I'm finding it a bit more enjoyable now. He transitioned from those red ecos to the blue ecos pretty well there. So yeah, I'm enjoying it better now. I don't even know why. So he is still surviving with the sentry gun, which is interesting. I would have thought I was going with the better thing, but apparently not. Also, I like his um, decal, though I'm not quite sure what it is. It's not very clear so yeah I've gone straight eco I haven't got with uh, gone with any pinks so I have lost a few lives but seriously they're not gonna do anything I don't really care about those few lives at all because when it gets the greens boosted at him he won't defend as well I'll get those as well set to last as well perfect I'll probably save up for some yellows and then boost some yellows at him just to get a boost out of him. Then I'll boost some pinks and see what happens. Also, I'll also just put my sniper up here uh, if I can actually get it there. Just because I can. So, it's, so he's sending um, black balloons at me, so I'll have to get the sentry gun up. I'll just have to. Because I think, yeah, they have two pierce, don't they? Right. So they can kill two uh, balloons at a time, and they target differently from the engineer. Because I set these to last. No, I haven't. It's set to first. Oh, I can leave one on first. Who cares? Right, we're gonna actually boost these yellows. Hopefully, we can get him to boost. Yeah, we got him to boost. Nice. That's all I want to do, really. Just get him to boost. Because we can send some pinks when his uh, cooldowns run down. Actually, no, we can't, can we? I'm being stupid because it'll be, um, I'll have it back by then. Huh. Rip. <laughs> right, so, send some leads, set to strong, get that. That'll deal with all the leads. He's got a sniper as well. So I'm not sure what we're gonna do. He's sending um, regrow leads at me for some reason. So let's get that monkey village up. Oh my god, fit! Just get the monkey village up. Actually, uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to do an all-out rush. Let's see what happens. Right, let's see what happens. Because I'm pretty sure he won't defend that. Yeah, he didn't defend it. Rip. Okay, that was a good game. Well, I'm going to end the video here. Um, I hope you're enjoying the uploads. I'm not sure when I'll upload this video because I'm recording it way in advance. But yeah, so I hope you enjoy the videos and see you in the next one.